hey guys and welcome to today's video so today i'm going to show you how in solidworks you can actually build an equation driven curve and for that we are going to use excel in order to plot the points for a helix curve and use those points in order to build a curve in solidworks so first of all uh, here we're going to uh, plot an equation uh, for the um, helix curve so uh, first of all i'll take my three coordinates and uh, suppose say uh, we want to build a helix curve which is has a radius of say 5 ok um, right now I'll first of all uh, give the value of the z coordinates starting from 0 and let this column be c3 plus 0 0.1 So now I'm going to extend this to almost about say um, uh, two uh, two pi radians, which is about six point three approximately. And uh, we're going to build the x y x coordinate as uh, five into the cosine of the uh, z coordinate. And similarly, uh, for the y coordinate, which will be uh, the radius into the sine of the z coordinate. Okay, so now we basically have the entire equation of a curve in its x, y, z coordinates form. Now what I'm going to do is uh, copy all of this particular data file uh, in a text file. So I'll just create a new text file on my desktop and just name it as say helix. Now just copy all of these xyz coordinates in your uh, uh, text file and uh, go to SOLIDWORKS in curves, curves through XYZ points. Here you can go into browse and um, select here text files and wherever you have basically placed your file you open that file and import the XYZ coordinates. As you can see all the XYZ coordinates uh, directly get imported into this and you just uh, and you also can see the preview of the curve. Now you click on OK you have a small curve a uh, small helix curve so now what I'm going to do is you can use this curve in order to uh, form a, a 3d helix object so for that we're going to use the swept boss base feature but for that initially we'll have to uh, build a plane so uh, in this particular option uh, you select this particular point and uh, yeah, uh, selecting this particular point and uh, have the perpendicular feature to be on so that uh, it's perpendicular to the edge as you can see from this side click on ok uh, now what you can do is you can go into sketch and have a circular cross section as a profile of any radius whichever you want and uh, finally you can just go into the swept boss base option and use this particular curve in order to build the helix so thanks for watching the video and uh, uh, feel free to leave any comments below thanks